It was a dark and stormy night. The rain was pounding down like the hooves of Roman chariots. I like the rain. It washes memories off the face of the dirty streets. All right, well, that's my little thing. This is a new thing called Van Detective. Van Detective, or Cat Detective, as you judge by the thing. Anyway, this is a follow-up to the video from, a, I don't know, a week ago or whatever, where the van blew up. It's uh, We were doing the forensics on why the engine blew up, and, and this is the conclusion of that. More information, more clues, clues. Just the facts, ma'am. I could do a Peter Falk, but everybody who knows who Peter Falk was has been dead for years. Anyway, here's your thing. Conclusion of why this here van done blowed up. Okay, this is how the van first arrived to us. Um, uh, partially disassembled, but not completely. So they've got the upper intake off. What's going on with the lip of that? Okay, let's see if she turns. Wow! Ah, it's fucking locked. It's gonna leak gas when I do this. Oh, well then. See that? Oh, that's all melted. All six runners are deformed, as is the bottom of that. And this whole surface here, outside of the gasket, is also melted. What took this engine out was overheating. Now the question is, why did it overheat? It's something I don't know at the time I'm making this video. I don't know why it overheated. All right, kitties. Well, here I am in voiceover. This uh, section, as you can see, is sped up because it's just not all that interesting. There's a fat guy in the frame putting a motor in. That's exciting. Well, then, I say we got some kind of problem. <clears throat> yeah, I can get this up here without having my goddamn face in there. Oh, I'm dropping the phone. Ah, it's hitting me in the face. That's going to be a split radiator. Almost certainly. Ah, it's sprayed in my eyes. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Uh, what um, what the cause of this was. This is would be facing down, and that's the main support for the radio. That's how it clips into the van, basically. And you can see, big crack was leaking, as you saw a video of that too. But that is not something that pressure would cause, because pressure would make it leak here at the seam where the plastic side tank is bonded to the aluminum core. That's some kind of physical damage. That seems to me a pretty good smoking gun. It, uh, whatever caused that crack, that crack didn't just happen. That's thick plastic. This is the main support for the radiator. Something hit it hard enough to crack the housing. That allowed the coolant to come out and overheated. Non-rocket science. Okay, kids, check out this forensics coming together. So I've shown you how the radiator was broken and how the broken radiator would explain a sudden overheat, which would explain why the engine failed. Then I come over here and I'm thinking, what would put stress, physical stress on the radiator as opposed to, you know, internal pressure? And I'm looking at this thing and I notice some things. Got a lot of light here. See that white piece? That is the, it supports the, the, the cross member. And it is, it is tipped back farther back than it should be. See, see this? This area, this area right here, that whole piece should be flat. But anyway, that area looks a little wonky to me. I'm working on a theory, which I'm gonna need more info to support. Yeah, you can see that, that this piece, see how that's bent there? Like that took an impact? I think this may be a deer strike van. Is there any indication that the hood isn't stock? Those hood bolts have been, somebody has had the hood off. See the wear on the hood bolts? How about on this side? Absolutely, somebody has put a wrench on those hood bolts. Anyway, the logic would be that the van took an impact. The impact put weakness into that structure right there that I'm pointing at, that's out of focus, um, right there. That put a hairline crack in the radiator that worked itself loose over time. And when it, it failed catastrophically, all the coolant would have come out very rapidly and that would have overheated the engine. And that's why you need a new engine. That would be the forensics of it. Oh boy. Our intrepid and hardball detective has put the pieces of the puzzle together in a puzzle piece kind of way. So what happened here? We didn't learn that it was in an accident until later, and we didn't learn a few other things till later. 
the things we learned were that uh, it had been in an accident, it had been towed to a shop, they replaced, they fixed all the front end stuff, and then the guy drove it out and he got a two miles down the road and the thing blew up in a catastrophic fashion to when it was towed to another shop and they sat on it for a while and then determined that it needed an, in an engine, but they didn't want to do it and then it came here and I put an engine in it. But putting the pieces back together was rather exciting. As you can take away, the van was hit it damaged the radiator. The radiator leaked, leaked out catastrophically, either, or the driver didn't notice it or whatever, but he got far enough to make enough heat to melt, uh, blow the engine, seize the engine, because I couldn't turn it, and um, melt the stuff you saw on the... I should really like this. And melt the stuff on the intake. I should really drink this. And, uh, and, and, and that was the evidence of the overheating. So when you put the pieces of the puzzle back together as you go back through, it's, it, it's kind of fun and interesting. Maybe. I don't know. There are other things to do with your life than watch this type of forensic van cat detective video. There's actual cats you could be seeing. Anyway, that's what happened. Will any of this apply to you in your van? Hell no, because you know the history. If it was hit and it overheats immediately, you would catch that immediately. The fact that this got juggled around at various shops is what made it difficult. And that was the first installment of Cat Det I mean Van Detective, which we may do again, uh, should the opportunity arise. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Look forward to a normal weekend video uh, that has van fixing crap in it. Thank you and good day.